before kickoff, we will, of course, have the national anthems. Starting with the national anthem of the Gambia. Time for the national anthem of South Sudan. Renditions of the respective uh, national anthems here in Alexandria today. This match means so much to the two teams, of course, it's the Gambia and South Sudan. So this is the Gambia starting lineup then named by coach Abduli Bojang who was uh, named the coach of the group stage by the technical study group here and uh, there are nine changes made following the last group game against Benin which they won 1-0 having already sewed up top spot in the section the captain in central defense Alagi Sen was named in the team of the group stage he's the only Gambian player to have played in every game thus far the only other player to uh, keep his place after starting in the final group game is Sally Fukuli, the number eight. Captain. Referee today is from Morocco, Jalal Jayed. His assistant from uh, Algeria and Congo and the uh, fourth official from Morocco. Moussa <laughs> Karboubi from Morocco is uh, one of the female officials here at uh, the competition in Egypt. And we do have video assistant referees as well. Now, nothing is going to get past them today. Well, South Sudan coach Peter James makes just one change to his team from their final group game. And uh, that's not really a surprise after they secured qualification and then uh, put on a good performance in their final group match. A nil-nil draw 
against uh, Uganda. The only change sees uh, Bull James Anyang, who's unavailable today. The defender replaced by Lumumba Brown, who comes into the midfield. So we're just waiting for the uh, go-ahead. Referee with the whistle in his mouth, the uh, clock ticking up to the hour. And we're underway, the third quarter final in this year's Total Energies Under-20 Africa Cup of Nations, the Gambia against South Sudan. The South Sudan team appearing at the Under-20 AFCON for the first time and taking on a Gambian team who won all three games so far and have yet to concede a goal. They are the clear favourites today. South Sudan looking to cause an upset. We have to finish playing, yeah? Looks like coming up straight away. That's why. There is Alagi Sedni, can be a captain who's been one of the standout players so far at the tournament. Gambia in the familiar colours today, the red shirts, blue shorts, green socks, South Sudan all in white. see if uh, Gambia have lost any rhythm after making so many changes to their team for the final group game of course it was an understandable decision it already wrapped up top spot picked up in midfield then by Mamoudou Bajo and here is Alagi Sen again Gambian captain also goal scorer in each of their first two group games. He sends it long down field. It's uh, run behind for a goal kick. Adama Bojang has been a revelation breaking through in the Gambian league. Just uh, got a glimpse there of Peter James, the coach of uh, South Sudan, brought in in the run-up to this tournament. Okay. Safe to say that South Sudan's uh, tournament could already be qualified as a success after making it out of the group stage. Finished in third place in the group two of the three third place uh, teams made it through to the last eight. Only four of the 12 teams eliminated at the end of the group stage. It's a good ball sent through. Got to be made on the right-hand side. And it's Paul Jawa Mara who was making the run. He's played a big part as well for South Sudan with goals in each of their first two games. The only two goals that they've scored come from him. Maybe number 10 on the right hand side for Gambia today. Come on! 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 Remember, 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 
Olympic referee's whistle goes. First two quarter finals were tight affairs decided by a single goal. Senegal scoring early in the second half to beat Benin in Cairo yesterday. And then Nigeria edging out Uganda with an own goal. So we have two West African uh, representatives already through to the semi-finals. Gambia hoping to join them. South Sudan, who qualified after reaching the final of last year's Sekafa Cup in Sudan. An excellent performance from the Bright Stars as the uh, referee's whistle goes again. Challenge on Bichok by Adama Bojang. Jang, coach of uh, the group stage, and uh, what a fine job he's done with this Gambian team. Let's not forget that Gambia came here looking to build on an impressive performance at the last AFCON in uh, Mauritania two years ago when they got it to the semi finals and then uh, won the third place playoff penalties against Tunisia. by Baggio. No, Fed through, looking for the run here from Philly. There's an excellent stop from the goalkeeper. Who denies Sally Bukoli, I think was just trying to pick out a teammate at the back post. Gabby are getting the ball down and uh, beginning to control the game already reminder that you can follow all the action on the uh, CAF social media channels hashtag total energies AFCON U20 Sen long ball forward again from him Bojang made the run and Bojang gets the goal less than seven minutes played and the Gambia in front already. A sharp shooter is Adam Abujang. And a shot underneath Yogusuk, the goalkeeper. What a terrific start for the young Scorpions. The long ball forward from Sen that we've seen him play a couple of times already. And Bojang just peeling away from his marker. He's been a bit of a revelation. In the game, <laughs> so far. He in Egypt without getting a goal. He's on the score sheet now. And uh, a team who've yet to concede a single goal at the tournament have the breakthrough here. It might be a long way back for South Sudan. Adam Bojang's goal. Timed on seven minutes. And the striker with Steve Biko FC back in the Gambia, putting his team in front. Now oh, there's a player down here. Enough start for South Sudan without uh, having an injury problem to deal with. I went down with nobody around him, obviously, suffering the injury in an earlier incident. Mabior Acek, the uh, centre back, is the player who's hurt in South Sudan preparing the substitution. Bojang, the goal scorer for the Gambia, and uh, see the finish again. Mabior Acek uh, couldn't catch up with him, may have felt something go as he was giving chase. Uh, 
and that's uh, unfortunate for the Bright Stars after falling behind having to make a substitution already and a change enforced in the central defence for them already missing one defender today in the Bull James Anyang One, he's just uh, dropped back into the defence at the moment as they wait for the change to be made. Sini Sanyang knocks it back to his goalkeeper, Pa Ibudampa. He's been uh, a spectator in the opening 10 minutes here. This is Moses Jarju. One of the Gambian players will be feeling well rested after not having to take part in the final group game here against uh, Benin, which they won with a late own goal. Jawara. And the Bojang's goal, having the Gambia in front. South Sudan hit by an injury now as well. As the challenge comes in from Atiki Abiyaza. And now the change will be made. Checks. Afternoon ends early, and it's uh, Salvino Lado who comes on. Slot straight, straight into that central defence. Cross comes in, and it's uh, a free header for Bojang. Well, he peeled away from. Sarfino, who's just come off the bench, maybe needs to get into the rhythm of the game here. It's nowhere near Bojang, but Bojang's head are nowhere near the target. That really should have been a second goal, a really inviting cross from the left-hand side. Sally from Kuli back the way to Bakari Jawara. He said, again, playing the long ball forward towards uh, Bojang. Won by Bichiok that time. Modu Marong, who's playing up front alongside uh, Bojang today. Nicely worked by Gambia. Marong's ball looking for Bojang in the middle was up you can see there that he was ahead of the last defender and it was uh, Sarfino Lado who was not in line with the rest of the South Sudan defense clearly needs to get to grips with the game quickly Bojang again, superb first touch, not a bad second one either, and he's won his team the free kick. Well, it was Sarfino who again was clearly off the pace as he went into that tackle. See what Gambia can do then from the free kick. Kajali Drame, based in South Africa with Cape Town City, is standing over it, and Sally Fukoli is there as well. Second goal would be a hammer blow for South Sudan. It would leave them with uh, a mountain to climb here. Three men in the wall. It's 
a long way out this fully 30 meters so the shot from rage which sails just over the crossbar Sadiq Kukuli trying his luck put into the team for the last group game and keeps his place today Bojang will let that run behind for the corner, which is given. And the moment, South Sudan unable to break out of their own half of the field here. Gambia on top, really much uh, more alert, much livelier. Cross uh, comes into the middle. And Alagi sends her out, loops up and lands on the top of the crossbar. Alagi said, looking for a third goal in four games here. The Gambian captain. South Sudan defense was sound asleep when that corner was played quickly and played short. The uh, towering Alagi Sen couldn't keep his header down. Aruna Ng was the other player who jumped for that ball. The kick is sent long downfield that time. Aruna Ng again. Pajo. Does look like Kajali Drame is going to stay a number 10 in a proper number 10 role behind Bojang with Modu Marong on the left flank and uh, Salifu Kuli on the right hand side. South Sudan win the free kick for the challenge on uh, number 9, Abishai. That will just ease the pressure on them a little bit. Be a tournament of that many goals. South Sudan have certainly not been prolific, just two scored in three games. One of them was a late consolation in their opening defeat against Congo as the free kick is claimed by Pa Abu Dampa. Straining to grab hold of that ball, the flag has come up anyway. Offside, very, very tight call. In the end, uh, inconsequential. Here is Moses Jarju. Bojang. All the time in the world as he drops deep and gets a foot on that ball. Free kick is given. Challenge on the skipper. Joseph uh, Loro Jele. Turned away from Haruna and Jeep was just clipped by the Gambian player. Well, Loro will deliver the free kick. The referee's just seen a bit of pushing and shoving in the uh, penalty box between Jaraju and Agumem Buki Abishai. Player leading the South Sudan attack today. Loro floats it forward into the penalty box. Head of one by Jarju. Helped on by Drame. Now the referee's whistle has gone again. There is a Gambian player down here. It's Haruna NG. by his uh, own teammate there, Mamou Dubajo. And the referee restarting things with a drop ball. Moro's <laughs> pulled forward, will run behind for the goal kick. Moro, <laughs> the captain of the Bright Stars, are at least gaining a little bit of territory, easing the pressure on their defence. Jarju. Holly. Amudu Bajo. 
Sus a la Gisele. A lovely turn by uh, Moju Barrow. The long legs bounding forward down the left here for the Campia. Ball looking for Bojang, just a bit too high for the striker. And the shot from Mamudu Bajo is uh, well over the crossbar. They look really dangerous every time they get forward, this Gambian team. South Sudan at their first under 20 Africa Cup of Nations. They've got their run to end just yet, but it's already been a successful competition for them. I think it's fair to say as Sarfino wins the free kick. Holly wins the tackle. Bajo was uh, fouled, I think, but the referee plays the advantage. Back to Mamudu Bajo again. The space on the left hand side here for Sanyang. Checks his run. We'll wait for some support to come behind him. Alagisen. There's the high ball forward again from the Gambian captain. This time it runs through to the goalkeeper. Godwill Sabio has Yogusuk on the back of his shirt. He thought that Modu Maro might just have strayed offside, so he made it back away to Sanyang and Gambia keep possession again, leading here by goal to nil against South Sudan in the first half of this third quarter final here in Egypt. Who will join Senegal and Nigeria, two of the heavyweights in the semi finals? What a 12 months or so it's been for Senegal at international level, winners of the AFCON in uh, Cameroon in February last year, winners of the recent African Nations Championship in Algeria. Now looking to win the under 20 Africa Cup of Nations here in Egypt. Gambia coming forward. Drame. Drame might lead to go all the way himself. Terry Jawara's cross comes off. Vichok, uh, who took that full in the face, I think. Brave defending. But the South Sudan defender. That was the challenge initially from Emmanuel Leboka. Bojang is the danger man. Surrounded by white shirts in there. He's played short. Kohli. This time the South Sudan defence was much more switched on. Played forward by Silver Mabok. Young nation, of course, uh, only gained independence from Sudan in 2011. And the senior men's national team yet to really make an impact. That ball is played through. Bojang is in again here. Bojang looks to go around the goalkeeper. And Yogosuk does really well. Might be kicking himself to some extent the way in which he was beaten at the goal. He certainly made up for it there. Made himself big. Got two hands on that. Bojang denied what would have been a second goal. And only the midway point in the first half. San Sudan really need to make sure they don't concede again. 2 0 down would be really hard for them to come back from but Campia pushing forward once again G, unable to keep that ball in play Salfino header on by uh, Jawa picked up by Manuel Lovoka These South Sudan attacking players have just not been able to get into the game yet. By Alagisen. A bit of a concern here for Aruna NG.
gone down as that uh, throw was taken. Gives us a chance to see the chance again for Bojang. An excellent piece of goalkeeping from Godwill Yogusuk Sabio. Tinji just getting some treatment. There is the South Sudan bench. Their players watch on. Members of their squad, by the way, who are listed as yeah, unavailable today. 26 man squad reduced to uh, 21 players in reality, with those who are absent and unavailable for selection. Oh, dig out the cross. Kept in play. Again sent forward long to keep for Bojang. Bojang has got the pace and he can get away from the South Sudan centre backs. One in the air by Bichok. Here is Bojang. Eventually gets on to it. Now then appeals for a handball. Atiki Abiyaza, ignored by the referee, was very well placed to see if that was an infringement or not. Laura was caught, the uh, South Sudan captain. Well on him by Bajo, was a little bit late into the challenge. Clearly came off the chest of the South Sudan right back. Jalal Jayed, the referee today. First of two quarter-final ties this Friday. The semi-finals will be on Monday. Played short. This is Kenny Wadi. Ball forward from him. Brought down and the ball into the near post. And Agumen Buki Abishai with the shot over the bar. That's much better from South Sudan. It's a direct approach. Terrific ball over the top of the left back Sanyang. And the uh, cutback. Really well played this by Silver Mabok to pick out Abishai. Got in front of Moses Jarju. Gambian defenders maybe strolled a bit too easily through the opening exchanges here. They maybe weren't expecting that. South Sudan turning up the pace and nearly finding the equaliser. Here's again at the other end. Headed behind by Manuel Lopoka. Another corner kick for the young Scorpions. Well, certainly they look the more dangerous of the two teams. South Sudan just finally offering a threat at the other end. That's a corner there from Collie. It's a fun oh, It's all too easy, and Moses Jarji takes it 2 0 to the Gambia. And it came just after South Sudan had finally created something at the other end. Gambia breaking downfield, winning the corner. And the South Sudan defence sleeping as that ball was played in. A free header for the centre back. And it looks like Gambia are cruising towards the semi finals. Uh, take a look at this again. The train of three players in red shirts. One in front of the other, Jarju broke clear. Broke away from the attentions of any defender. Too easy. And once again, you have to say that Sarfino, on as a substitute, wasn't switched on. It's a simple goal, but it could mean an awful lot to the Gambia. Two goal cushion with less than half an hour play. Shai loses out to Haruna NG. Again, the Gambia come forward. Bojang out to Modu Marong. Keeps his footing. 
trying to break into the penalty box. Atiki Abiyaza mops up for South Sudan. Well, this is a huge uh, occasion for South Sudan in international football. It is, as I was saying, a young country, independent uh, for just 12 years, and the senior men's national team are way down the world rankings. Haven't yet been to a major tournament. That will come, I'm sure. Maybe this generation will help them get there. This is all part of the learning process for them. Uh, Salfino just knocked off balance. He concedes the throw. Bojang has been very lively. The Gambia have been very lively. 30 minutes into this quarter final, and Peter James's bright stars have uh, not been at the races here in Alexandria today in Egypt's second city. Jarju, scorer of the second goal. He has two centre backs. No score goals at this tournament. That ball is played forward from Bakari Jawara into the middle. It's not properly dealt with by the South Sudan defence, and it's a big save again from uh, the goalkeeper. There's another slack ball collected by Bojang. And Modu Marong uh, looking to just walk the ball into the net. The shot comes off the post. Well, 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 South Sudan on the brink of complete collapse here. Sini Sanyang. Ojan looking to return it to Haruna NG. It's incessant pressure at the moment. Modu Maro into the penalty box. Modu Maro looks to square it. Bojang. And Marong turns it into the net, well, big appeals for an offside flag, which has come up. Will be checked by the VAR, of course, it looked uh, fairly clear. Modu Marong, who hit the post just a few seconds ago. He was very much ahead of the last defender, in line with the goalkeeper. He turns that ball into the net, it will not stand. Modu Marong, just before that, crashing the shot off the post. And South Sudan seems to have let the occasion get the better of them. That comes uh, uh, Ibu Dampa to clear, really hasn't had. Anything of note to do in this first half. Trame brings it down brilliantly. Trame away from the defender. Trame squares it and it's turned in by Bojang. It is too easy for the Gambia. But that third goal has been coming for a couple of minutes. It's a second for Adama Bojang. And the Gambia are cruising into the semi finals. And to win the under 21 cup. Well, that came from the long kick downfield by pa Ibu Dampa, the goalkeeper. Here it is. And again, the South Sudan defence, the line of that back four, all at sea, all over the place. And uh, nothing stopping Kajali Drame from surging towards goal. Ken Yuwani let him go. And Drame squaring it for Bojang to score. The Cape Town City starlet Drame scored against Zambia on match day two in the group stage and the provider for Bojang's goal. This could get very nasty indeed for South Sudan at this rate.
Well, they have just kept on coming at the South Sudan defence. Problem here, Modu Marong. Taking a knock uh, right in the mouth from the forearm of uh, Loro, the South Sudan captain. Here's a Gambian free kick. Certainly, the Gambia provide a model that uh, South Sudan should perhaps look to in terms of their progress as a footballing nation. The young Scorpions looking to do even better than in their last under 20 AFCON two years ago in Mauritania when they finished in third place. They also finished in third place in the 2007 tournament. And they could be in again here. Maron, Maron to make it 4 0. He's put it wide. Well, what a poor finish that was from Modu Maron. And he's had uh, plenty of chances in this first half to get his name on the score sheet. Too easily away from the South Sudan defender. They are faster, they're stronger. And they are simply a class above South Sudan. Aruna G. See if they can get the foot on the ball. Just play some football here. South Sudan. It's given away by Loro. Sanyang will just return it to Alagi Sen. It's eased through this first half. It's not too much to worry about defensively. Jarju back to his goalkeeper, Abu Dampa. And once again, Ojang threatening to get goal side of Emmanuel Loboka. I suspect that uh, the many scouts who will be following this tournament will have picked up on the performances of Adam Bojang. Many of them will have been aware of him already for what he's been doing with Steve Biko FC back at home. Free kick given to South Sudan, and there's two South Sudanese players down here. Silver Mabok was the one who was fouled, and then Loro took that ball. Fool in the stomach, I think. South Sudan's uh, record at full international level, 165th in the FIFA World Rankings. That's 47th in Africa between Liberia and Mauritius. They lost to Equatorial Guinea in the very first round of qualifying for the recent Qatar World Cup. Didn't make it to the group stage, which would have provided them at least with some very valuable experience at that level. Finished at the bottom of the group in qualifying for the recent AFCON in Cameroon as well last year. Emmanuel Loboka. Ball in and it's collected by Dampa. Dilipo Jang can be pretty relaxed on the Gambian bench. On the coach of the national under 17 team. for the Gambian national team as well but the uh, golden era for the Gambian national team well it's now really Gambia went to their very first senior AFCON last year in Cameroon and made it to the quarter-finals a terrific performance under Tom Sanfit losing 2-0 to the hosts in uh, Douala Do Bajo. It's a back from Bojang. Can be just easing off at the moment. There are more goals in this game for them if they want them. Can be a score just four times in three games in the group stage. One of them was that late own goal. Gave them the win against Benin in their final group match. Picks it up. 
to the near side here for Paul Jawamara. Trying to pick out Silver Mabok on the uh, right hand side, but too much on the pass. Right hand side uh, in the sunshine here, but the shadows have been getting longer as the first half has gone on. Here at the uh, RSM Hodun Stadium in Alexandria, the opening matches in Alexandria were played at the Alexandria Stadium, but the state of the pitch there prompted the organizers to move matches pretty quickly to here. Didn't interrupt uh, the rhythm of Abdulli Bojang's Gambian team. Jali Drame. The Gambian players are already based abroad, not many of them are. More of them will be, I suspect, uh, in the months and years to come. Perhaps the star name you would think would be uh, Mamin Sanyang, who's on the books at Bayern Munich, but he's not in the starting lineup. Big kick given against uh, Bojang. Sanyan did start the last game against Benin, but apart from that, he's been in and out of the team and uh, is on the bench again today. Well, then, Abishai, Silver Mabok goes for goal, comes off Sanyan, and Mabok tries again. steady the ship until half time and maybe get a consolation goal give them something to hold on to Dubajo was caught in the face by Abishai that's why he stayed down Odumaro running again down the left hand side from him his long legs Breaking into the penalty box, it falls for the shot from range, and Marong's been caught by uh, the full force of his teammates' uh, shot there. And South Sudan have put that ball out of play to allow for some treatment from Modu Marong. Two goals from Adama Bojang, either side of one from Moses Jarju. Well, he's okay, Modu Marong, and uh, Gambia will give the ball back to South Sudan here. Sarfino. Alagi Sen. to pick out uh, Sanya making the run forward on the left-hand side. They look really threatening on that flank. Uh, Gampia has been a horror show for South Sudan all across the back four, you have to say. Back for the free kick. Come on. Challenge on Haruna and G, whose uh, marauding runs forward from midfield have added to the problems in the South Sudan defence today. So Sally Fakoli and Kajali Drame both standing over the free kick again. Can the Gambi get a fourth goal before half time? delivery watched all the way by the goalkeeper was bravely done he's been caught there by his teammate and he's going to need some treatment 
for one for Godwill Yogusuk Sabio. It's a very heavy collision with the defender Sarfino, who has uh, not got too much right. You have to say, since coming on just after the first goal went in, seems to have uh, escaped largely unscathed from that collision. one for the goalkeeper and uh, hope he's going to be able to continue South Sudan really without uh, one of their three goalkeepers in the squad for today's game Mayan Aljok is deemed as absent will see the stoppage time at the end of the half uh, extended somewhat and that was a good save from the goalkeeper to prevent uh, the goal on that occasion Cambia have been so dangerous every time they've got into the final third. Modu Marong was denied as well. That shot coming off the upright. The long balls forward which have really caused trouble to South Sudan. That was Moses Jarju, finally Bakari Jawara. Daniel Bichok was unable to deal with the ball into the middle. Yogosuk did make the save. Just wonder if he's going to be able to continue here. Let's see if he can carry on until half time. It was a really hefty collision. Official bringing up the board to confirm how much stoppage time is to be added. It's going to be four minutes. And let's see if that's four minutes up now. Four minutes, including the two minutes we've just had. It's uh, not necessarily that important from a South Sudan viewpoint. They are completely up against it here. Been three goals going on, uh, six or seven for Gambia. Modumaro had a swing at that ball and missed it. Loro. Just one opportunity of note for the Bright Stars at the other end. Can be a team who haven't conceded yet in this tournament. Up against uh, a South Sudan team who've not exactly been prolific in attack. Just two goals in their three games. Really, really difficult to see how they can come back into this at all. Yeah. Harry Jawara returns it to Jarju. Coolly done by Alagi Sen. Amudu Bajo to Jawara. the long ball forward again Sarfino does get it back to his goalkeeper this time well the moment seems to be all right a rare bit of good news in this first half for the bright stars of South Sudan Well, that 
to the far side is beyond the reach of Silver Mabok. Picked up by Haruna NG. Akari Jawara. Gambia on course for the semi-finals, on course for a last four showdown in Cairo against Nigeria. South Sudan maybe with one last chance in his first half to pull a goal back. It's headed behind by Mamoudou Bajo, not taking any chances. It's the first call, the kick of the game for the Bright Stars. As they look to finish the half on a high note here. And the look like Norman Brown is uh, going to take this. There he came into the South Sudan starting lineup today. The one change from their final group game. This is cleared away by the captain, Alagi Sen. Four added minutes. It's not included the couple of minutes of treatment required for the South Sudan goalkeeper. Knocks that out of play for the throw. The referee has a look at his watch, and that will just about be that, I think. I do wonder if Yogosuk will be able to return to the action in the second half. The whistle goes. It's been a horrible first half for South Sudan. They've been blown away in a Gambian hurricane. A superb attacking performance from the young Scorpions. Two goals for Adam Abojang, either side of uh, a free header at a corner from Moses Jarju. They hit the woodwork twice as well. Alagi Sen with the header from a corner coming off the crossbar. And Modu Marong hitting the post with a shot. Godwill Yogusuk Sabio, the South Sudan goalkeeper, having to make uh, a few saves too before getting injured at the end of the half in a nasty looking collision with his teammate Sarfino Lado. It's been a horror show for South Sudan. And at half time here in Alexandria, it's the Gambia 3, South Sudan 0. And the statistics sum things up 66% possession for the young Scorpions. 13 attempts on goal to four for South Sudan, five attempts on target to one, and uh, they are cruising into the semi finals. See, I was pissed at you. Now he is what I'm going to do. I know I did to has been paid. I pay that bill. At Total Energies, we go the extra mile for you. Here in Alexandria today, the third quarter final at this year's Total Energies Under 20 Africa Cup of Nations. The Gambia against South Sudan. The Gambia, who finished third at the last edition in Mauritania two years ago, who won all three group games here in Alexandria without conceding a goal, up against the South Sudan team, appearing at their first Under 20 Cup of Nations and who qualified for the last eight after finishing in third place in Group B. Gambia, the favourites on paper, and that's how it played out in the first half. Pretty much one-way traffic. Gambia getting the breakthrough in the seventh minute. The captain, Alec Sen, one ball forward. And Adam Abujang with the finish. A well-taken goal, but too simple, really. South Sudan defence easily undone. Mabio Aciek, the uh, number 13, the centre of the South Sudan defence, was forced off injured moments later. Maybe already struggling with uh, a problem, and that ball was played forward by Alagi. Said he could keep up with Bojang. 
he came off and uh, Sarfino Lado came on into a South Sudan defence that was already all at sea and things would get worse for them soon after. Malagi Sen with the header at the corner, landing at the top of the crossbar. Kajali Drame with uh, the ball in. The corner had been played short. Oh, and then from the right wing corner, oh, by Sadi Kuhn Kuli, a free header for Moses Jarju oh, to make it 2-0. That had come just after Agumem Buki Abishai had uh, come very close to equalising for South Sudan at the other end. That was their first chance of the game, their only real chance of note. Such a simple goal once more and a horrible one for the Bright Stars to concede. They were facing a mountain to climb at that point. Well, it would get steeper and higher in the uh, minutes that followed. The Gambia had uh, several chances to add to their lead before the third goal actually did come.
was Mr. Chew. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I know I did to love has been paid. At Total Energies, we go the extra mile for you. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a triple substitution just to freshen things up. I think they realise that this game has gone beyond them. So, Tito Mayer is coming on. Ochaya Otim, the number 21, is uh, entering the fray as well. And Kennedy Martin is the other player who is uh, entering the game. Ochaya Otim taking the place of uh, Joseph Loro Jele, the captain. The captain's arm, I think, has been handed to Yogusuk, the goalkeeper. And the referee looking at his watch, we're underway again. In the second half, the Gambia cruising with the two goals from Adam Abojang in the first half, either side of the free header from Moses Jarju. 3-0 they lead, South Sudan having already been forced into an early change because of uh, an injury to the central defender, Mabio Acek, have made three substitutions at the beginning of the second half just to freshen things up a little bit. Confirmation of the changes, Lumumba, Norman Brown is the player who's been replaced by Tito Mayer. <laughs> this one comes for that ball. It's convincingly clear by the South Sudan defence, eventually they get it away. <laughs> Silver Mabok has been replaced by Kennedy Martin. Ochaya Uti is it on as well as uh, Yagusu comes all the way out, doesn't get to that ball, and it's been turned into the net. A fourth goal for the Gambia, and uh, what an afternoon it's turning into for Adam Abunjang. Uh, big questions have to be asked again about the Bright Stars defending. Godwill, Yogusu, Sabio. May have felt he needed to come out for that ball, but he had to get there, he didn't. Just a simple up and under. And it bounced awkwardly. The goalkeeper had already committed himself. And Adela Bojack left with an easy finish for his hat-trick. And the Gambia. On course for the biggest win yet at this year's Total Energies Under-20 Africa Cup of Nations. The Gambia 4, South Sudan 0. <laughs> Hat-trick for Bojang. And, uh, well, you do wonder what... Peter James, his South Sudan coach, would have sent his players at half-time. He's made the changes. And the idea would have been to tighten things up at the back and also put on a bit of a show going forward, try and grab at least one consolation, at the very least. And instead, they fall 4-0 down within two minutes of the second half getting underway. Horrible way for uh, the second half to start for South Sudan. Come the Gambia again, Modu Maro. They haven't needed to change anything at the break. The cross into the middle. Collected by Godwill Yogusuk Sabio. The vast majority of these uh, South Sudan players apply their trade domestically in the local league in South Sudan. 
domestic champions Zalan not uh, providing any of the players here at the tournament they were eliminated early from the Champions League this season losing 9-0 on aggregate to young Africans of Tanzania in the first round of the competition Alagi Sen cruised through another game today not too much to worry about defensively a bit of a problem there for Kajali Drame just taking a knock to the face referee allowing play to continue at the moment Tito May are setting off on the run that ball stayed in Seni Sanyang here comes Haruna Nji Odumaro is on the right hand side at the moment. Emmanuel Loboka will let that run behind for the goal kick. I mentioned San Sudan having a representative in the Champions League this season. The Gambian Champions Hawks uh, pulled out of the Champions League. Champion Premier League ongoing. Real Banjo are on top of the table. Head of Falcons. Abishai. Tito Mayer. It's better from South Sudan. Opening up the possibility. Abishai looking to play the one two. Paul Jawamara eventually penalised for handball. He went down and clutched hold of the ball. Paul Jawamara plays his club football in Kenya, who scored in the first two group games for South Sudan. The opening game, a 2 1 defeat at the hands of Congo. And uh, he came off the bench and scored a late consolation, which gave them some hope. In the latter stages of that match, then he scored a second-minute penalty, which proved to be the only goal of the game against the Central African Republic on match day two in Ismailia. Remember the hashtag, Total Energies AFCON U20, to keep up to date with all the action here in Egypt on the CAF's social media channels. Stays this way, the Gambia will match the biggest winning margin yet at the tournament. That was set by uh, a very impressive Senegal team when they crushed the hosts, Egypt, 4-0 in Cairo in their final group game with uh, Papa Bemba Diop scoring a hat-trick, which emulated by Pojang today. And we do have a possibility, they're on different sides of the draw. The Gambia and uh, Senegal, the neighbours in West Africa, could face each other in the final as the shot flashes wide. Well, Pat Ibu Dampa still not required to make the save, but it's better from South Sudan. Jawa with the effort. They know they're heading out now. They're not going to be heading to the FIFA Under-20 World Cup later in the year. They do want to bow on a high if possible. Alagi Sen turns it to Dempa. Haruna Nji. Bakari Jawara. Just a bit too much on the pass. Connected by Kenny Wani. Alan Sen has been playing with the Danish club Horsens. Of the Gambian team moving abroad. Collie. 
Hopefully does well to get it to Drame. That's an inviting ball into the middle. Bojang looking to tee up Maro and it's 5 0 Offside flag is up to deny Modu Maron. It's not turning out to be his day in front of goal. Second goal disallowed for him. He's already hit the post as well. And where was the offside here? It was there. And ball in from Drame to Bojang. This is referee waited until the end of the move for the flag to come up. Absolutely, Bojang's team though are cruising through. Start preparing for the Under-20 World Cup to come. Starting on the 20th of May in Indonesia, running until the 11th of June. Nigeria and Senegal already there. The Gambia will be going in too. And uh, later today, we have the final quarter-final. Coming up just an hour after this game is due to finish. As that cross is collected by Park. Ibu Dampa, Congo and Tunisia meeting in the last quarter-final tie. The winners of that one will play Senegal in the semi-final. Drame and Bujang waiting at the edge of the penalty box and the pass cut out by Ken Yuwani. Alagi Sen, this is Sini Sanyang. Four nil, the Gambia leads. Hat trick for Bojang, one for Moses Jarju as well. Maro still looking for the goal for him today. Tries to cut it back for Bojang. Daniel Bichok with the interception, he wins the free kick. Under 20 World Cup, by the way, won by Ukraine in uh, 2019, played in Poland. Ukraine beating South Korea 3 1 in the final. Best uh, showing from an African team in that tournament came from Mali, who reached the quarter finals, losing 4 2 to Italy. Abishai, Kennedy Martin back to Abishai again for the toe poke towards goal. That's a rare chance for the Bright Stars today. <laughs> among the teams who'll be at the Under-20 World Cup, beyond the African hopefuls, Brazil will be there. England and France and Italy will be there too. qualifying as winners of last year's uh, under-19 European Championship. And Joe, the touch on, picked up by uh, South Sudan in midfield, away by Jarju. Tito Mayer. Una and G, very impressive. And it can be in midfield. A warning for Antiki Abiaza from the uh, Moroccan referee. Reminder, we've not had uh, a yellow card today, not yet, anyway. <laughs> Colley. Colley goes for goal himself. He really could have played that in to Modu Marong, I think. Understandably, Salifu Colley wanting some of the glory too. The Real Banjul player belongs to the domestic league leaders.
Chaya playing it to Antiki Ambiaza. Campion getting ready now to make their first substitution as we come up to the hour mark here. Anagi Sen just knocks uh, Agumemboki Abishai off the ball with ease. Been a fine tournament for the Gambian captain. Dampa. Very quiet day in goal for him. It's set to be another Gambian clean sheet. <laughs> Challenged by Aruna NG. It's a free kick. Attack on Atiki Abiaza. Time then for that change to be made. Well, Madhu Marong has been very lively on the uh, wing today for Gambia, the forward who plays his club football in Angola with Inter Club. He is coming off, and Haruna NG, very impressive in midfield. He's making way as well. And you give up the Bayern Munich prospect, Mamin Sanya, the two players coming off. Shift from Maron, lucky not to get the score sheet himself, but it's fair to say that G, very impressive once again with in central midfield. And I think uh, Abdul Jai just looking to rest him now ahead of the upcoming semi final at the beginning of next week. Shot from long range is wide from Kennedy Martin. Confirmation of the changes. Mamin San Yang on for Modu Marong. And you give up replacing Aruna NG in the center of the midfield. We'll see if it's just a couple of straight swaps, whether it's a bit of a reshuffle. Tito Mayer got uh, Chaya in support behind him. Picked up by Seni Sanyang. Good ball inside. Give by the substitute. Excellent idea. The three ball looking for Bojang, who is certainly hungry for more goals. Sanyang again. I mean, Sanyang. easing off to some extent from the Gambia that might be what gives South Sudan some hope of making the final scoreline more respectable it will be determined to keep another clean sheet maintain their record of not having conceded a single goal yet in the competition pretty uh, impressive record as they come forward at the other end uh, Sanya challenged by Sarfino it's going to be a goal kick pointed out that they're not the only team have not yet conceded the goal here Senegal two coming through all three group games without letting in a goal and then uh, winning 1-0 yesterday against uh, Benin in Cairo with Samba Diallo scoring the only goal of the game
Well, San Sudan will have to pick themselves up from this disappointment and uh, build towards the future. Want to get to the next tournament, why not? Want to continue their progress at uh, senior international level as well. Maybe a chance here for a fifth goal. Terrific running from Colley, plays it across the face of goal. And South Sudan scramble it to safety. Salifu Kohli looking to add his name to the score sheet. Saying that... Well, they look so dangerous every single time. Sanyang making a terrific run forward down the left-hand side. Can he keep this in play? They were absolutely rampant on that left flank in the first half. A bit less so in the second half, if anything. It's the very early fourth goal after the break, which has led them to take their foot off the gas to some extent. Are going to make another couple of changes now. Sunny Pukuli nearly scoring. That's his final act of the game. Mohamed Sawane is uh, coming on. <laughs> Kajani Drame from Cape Town City is the other player coming off by the So he's uh, coming on for him. The Spain. Change that. Get the other cups in. Russia still on here. Here is Balamin So, just on as a substitute, coming up to the midway point in the second half as the Gambia look for more goals. Very one-sided quarter final. We are going to see a first yellow card of the game. It's taken 67 minutes for the Moroccan referee to reach into his pocket, and it's taken someone a just a few seconds since uh, coming off the bench to pick up the yellow card for that challenge on Kennedy Martin. Is Sawane. Sawane's ball in towards Bojang. Maybe had a bit too much time to think about that one. Bojang looking for a fourth goal of the game and a fifth for Gambia. And over the crossbar. Sudan just getting here was a pretty big achievement, reaching the final of the Sekafa Under-20 Championship in October and November of last year in Sudan. Ethiopia on penalties in the semi-finals and they lost 2-1 to a very good Uganda team in the no final of Uganda's own no adventure no here in Egypt no coming to an end yesterday. And then free kick given just outside the penalty box. James, San Sudan coach watching on. Sanyang, the player fouled. Hey, 
Can they get the fifth goal? In the penalty box, difficult job of keeping uh, tabs on Adam Abojang. How do you keep up? Take free kick. Hey, guys! 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 And uh, Banjo gets his name on the score sheet. It's 5 0 to the Gambia. It is an absolute wreck. Probably played set piece. Too many bodies right in front of the goal line. And so it's laid back by Gibbon. Salmon with the shot. And Banjo helping it on its way. No question of an offside. The goal. Will stand and it gets uh, worse and worse for South Sudan. Well, the majority of games here in Egypt have been very tight affairs. This one, anything but. John uh, Balabin So. That's a team to score five goals at an under 20 African Cup of Nations. We're at Senegal in uh, a group game against Burkina Faso in the 2019 edition. And they won 5 1. strong Senegal team featuring strongly once more this time they've uh, got a few finals in uh, recent years 2015 they lost the final as host to Nigeria 2017 they lost the final to the host Zambia and that 2019 edition in Niger they were beaten on penalties by Mali in the final Senegal hoping to go one better this time who will succeed Ghana as the under 20 Africa Cup of Nations winners. Ghana, who won two years ago in Mauritania, but are not here this time. They've come through the very testing West African qualifying process. Having Sanyan into the box. Uh, I think it just bounced up a little bit awkwardly for him. He lost control of it a little bit. The Bayern Munich prospect has been in Germany much of his life. Time for another change here. And Adam Abojang, the uh, hat-trick hero, is going to come off. What a performance from him today. Uh, what an exciting prospect he is. He's by to take his place as we see Abojang's first goal today. Seven minutes in, the long ball forward by Alain Hussain. Through on goal. Very confidently to set the Gambia on their way. Mansour and Bayou played against uh, Benin in the final group match and who uh, helped set up the late winning goal, which was an own goal.
Sabare. seeing further evidence of the strength of West African teams in continental competition. One of the winners a couple of years ago, but lost both their games in qualifying against Nigeria and Burkina Faso this time. West Africa does provide uh, four qualifiers qualify for the north to go with the host nation Egypt a couple of teams from the south and then four from Central Africa including South Sudan came from the Sekafa zone Sawane gives it to Aliou Giba his fellow substitute we have and five changes in this second half. It's not interrupted the rhythm too much. Goals continue to come. forward from Kennedy Martin but stopped outside the penalty box Give up. He's just running the clock down now, the champions. Next game here in Egypt coming up very shortly. The second match of the day. Final quarter final tie, Congo and Tunisia. Congo finished second in Group B only because of drawing with lots and an identical record to Uganda, but Uganda saw their name drawn first at the end of the group phase and they were given top spot in the section, didn't work out too well for them, Congo hoping that it will uh, help them as they take on the Tunisia team who finished second in Group C behind Gambia, Tunisia lost 1-0 to Gambia, the opening group game with a late winner of Aladi Sen in that match. Yeah, didn't find their group games anything like as straightforward as they found this quarter final today. Things uh, will step up a level when it comes to the semi finals. Gambia up against Nigeria. Oh, and Mark Ebu Dampa playing that ball off. Abishai under pressure. Finals to be played on Monday, and then uh, third place playoff next Friday, and the final next Saturday, the 11th of March in Cairo. Gambia will be heading to Cairo for their semi-final, and will be staying there. Come what may, after that, to uh, either play in the final or the third place playoff. Here they come again, looking for a sixth goal. Back to the edge of the box, it's left by Bala Minso, saved by the goalkeeper, San Yang. Not sure quite what that was from Robin San Yang, the Bayern Munich youngster, but with a good save. And then he's struggling a bit here. 
Well, too easy once more for the Gambian team. Ball in from the right hand side. The initial shot from someone A well saved. And then Sanyang high and wide. Well, let's see. South Sudan goalkeeper is able to see the game out. Peter James did say ahead of this game that South Sudan were here to have fun and to learn, but also to win. Well, certainly learned an awful lot from this afternoon's game. They will have had fun up to today. Possibly not out there this afternoon. They're not going to be winning either. the Moroccan performance at the World Cup in Qatar as an example to follow. Morocco reaching the semi-finals, becoming the first ever African and Arab team to get to the semi-finals of the World Cup. South Sudan at their first under-20 Africa Cup of Nations. Their adventure is going to end here today in the quarter-finals. Well, that means so. Spanish club Tenerife to Moses Jarju and Alagi Sen is on the books of the Danish side Horsens. landing awkwardly in that challenge with uh, Paul Jawamara jogging a little bit uneasily as he gets back to his feet Manuel Laboca Side by Bakari Jawara. Take it, take it. Take it, take it. Take it, Up with his feet, not with his hands. He's looking to see this out now, and uh, tensions will be turning to the semi finals. Give up. Extra time and penalties are available if needed in the knockout stages, not required here today. I think we can say that now. Mansour and Bai. Inside by Tito Mayer. Kennedy Martin, the ball out to the left flank here. Laboka shot sliced wide. Some of these South Sudan players will be hoping to break through into the full national team in the near future. South Sudan's senior side currently focused on the qualifying campaign for next year's Africa Cup of Nations in the Ivory Coast. They've already lost two matches out of two. The campaign started last year. It's currently on hold. It will resume in March. The double header against Congo. South Sudan lost 1-0 in the Gambia. 
And then 3 1 against Mali in a match which was a home game but played in Uganda. So these nations will be coming up against each other again in AFCON qualifying. I suspect that South Sudan might have a little bit too much to do to make it to first senior Africa Cup of Nations next year. And we'll be hoping to return to the AFCON after their run to the last eight in Cameroon beginning of last year. Mario Giba lost that ball, didn't realise where it was. Pounced upon by South Sudan and the pass looking for Abishai, cut out by Alagi Sen. Nothing has got past him today. Nothing has got past him at all since the beginning of the tournament in Egypt. Mansour in by. Someone eight. Jarju. Five nil to the Gambia. Hat trick for Adam Abojang. Moses Jarju and Mamoudou Bajo on target as well. Sen again just strolling up into midfield. Tito Mayer. Oh, it was an opportunity for Paul Jawamara to score in the third game at this tournament. His touch lets him down. Abishai the ball in and the first touch was good the second touch was uh, what took it away from him there with rainbow fc in kenya Anthony Bojang was named coach of the group stage and uh, might be coach of the quarterfinals as well. Another ah, outstanding ah, Gambia performance as Sanyang gets that ball in, kept it in play, could pick out a red shirt in the middle. And Sanyang might be the star name when you look at the list of players in the Gambian squad, given that he belongs to Bayern Munich, but hasn't been able to work his way into the first choice starting 11 for the young scorpions as Paul Jawamara is fouled outside the area by Banjo free kick given South Sudan's tournament is nearly over. Can they bow out with a consolation goal here? Miserable day for them in Alexandria.
Tito Mayer standing over the free kick. Five Gambian players in the wall. Tito Mayer's shot straight into the arms of uh, Pa Ibu Dampa. And that rather sums things up for South Sudan today. Not good enough. They have been outclassed by uh, a very impressive Gambian side. I mean so in the 90th minute picks up teammate in the middle good recovery I have to say that time from Safino it's been a, a wretched day for him since coming on as an early substitute but he did well on that occasion this game free kick given again for the challenge on Tito Mayer Lighted in away once more by Alagi Sen Gambia won that uh, fourth clean sheet in four games here at this tournament. Kukusu came out of his penalty box and that time got it away. Sen once again. I think that was a shot on goal from Alagi Sen. He's got a couple here in Egypt uh, in the opening uh, couple of group games. Uh, smile on his face from the Denmark-based central defender. Won't be returning to his club just yet. He'll be staying here for another eight days or so. Semi-finals on uh, Monday and then either the third place playoff or the final next Saturday for the young Scorpions. Looking to, at the very least, go one better than their previous best at the other 20 Cup of Nations. Champion team who finished third last time out in Mauritania and also finished third in 2007. Their only disappointing performance, really, at the under-20 AFCON came in 2011 when they went out in the group stage. Well, I mean, so, watched all the way. Uh, Daniel Bichon, he wins the free kick. There's going to be one more opportunity for the Gambia to get another goal here. Final minute of stoppage time, Bichon was scrambling to get back. Catch up with Balamin So. Only three minutes of added time have nearly come and gone. This will be the final action of the game. A very one sided contest it finishes with uh, a Gambian free kick. Might not blow his whistle just yet. I really think when the goal kick is taken, Gambian players on the bench ready to celebrate this. A fine performance from them as they cruise into the semi finals of the Total Energies Under 20 Africa Cup of Nations. They have outclassed South Sudan today. A 5 0 victory. The most comprehensive victory yet here in Egypt. 
The Gambia are through to the last four. The Gambia will be at the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in Indonesia in May and June as well. A terrific display from them. All part of the learning process for South Sudan at their first ever Under-20 AFCON. They'll hope to be back again in a couple of years' time. They were delighted to make it out of their group. This was a step too far for them today. Adam Abojang, the big star for the Gambians, a hat-trick for him, a superb attacking display. Gambia had five goals, they might have had seven or eight quite easily, they hit the woodwork a couple of times, and they were denied by several good saves from Godwill Yogusu and Sabio in the South Sudan goal too. Meanwhile, the bright stars didn't really create much of note at all. One good chance at 1-0, uh, Angleman Buki Abishai, with a shot just wide, things might have been different, had that gone in otherwise. One-way traffic here in Alexandria. In Gambia, five, South Sudan nil. Well, let's look at the final statistics. The Gambia with 66% of the possession, 22 attempts on goal to nine for South Sudan, eight attempts on target to just one for the Bright Stars. And one yellow card today, even that came for the Gambia to Mohamed. Someone there just had to come on as a substitute in the second half. The Gambia team are down there celebrating. They have earned it today. Terrific afternoon for them. They're heading to the Under-20 World Cup and their campaign.